Hi, this is Rhonda Delamornier, and I am so excited to be coming there this fall to be leading you, my sisters, and myself through this journey of becoming you, E-W-E, as we really press into what it means to follow the Good Shepherd. And I wanted to just share one little morsel of what we're going to be talking about in this study. And um, one of the things that really blessed my heart is I began to really study what it means to follow the Good Shepherd. Um, is that sheep in ancient times, they never really had a home. They spent their whole lives going up and down the mountain. They would they would go, they would be in a, in a pasture in the winter, but then um, they were, the rest of the time, they were up and down the mountains and they would take refuge in these little ravines and these little caves, but they would spend their times following as the snow would melt, it would make little um, places for them to drink water, but they would get to the top of the mountain, which was like the, the table, they called it, was where the richest grass was, and then they were following down the mountain. So they basically spent their whole life in this pattern of going up and down a mountain and so there was never this place where they were able to just rest and like we do we come in our house and it's our home it's the place where we abide but their abiding place was actually not a place it was their shepherd his voice was their refuge his voice and the sound of his voice leading was their safe place and so when Jesus calls us sheep he is saying that I am your refuge. I am your safe place. I am your place of abiding. And I don't know about you, but that just blesses my heart, especially in times like right now where the everything is shaking and we just need this safe place to just take refuge in. And we can know that the safe place is here for us. And of John 10, um, verse 3, it says, To him the gatekeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name, and he leads them out. He's leading us out. And I don't know if, if you hear his voice just saying, Come home. I'm here, and I am your home. We are the sheep of his pasture, and we have this amazing opportunity to come home to our shepherd's voice and be led by him. So I invite you and encourage you to come as we dwell more into what it means to follow our great shepherd through this life. And I cannot wait to come and be, join the, you on this journey. Um, God bless you, and thank you for the opportunity to join you this fall.